Um, we were we were talking about the way that the role of designers and people in generally had changed from being people who were skilled at things, uh, even image making, to being idea developers, visual ideas, verbal ideas, whatever it is. Um, some of the things we need to talk about that is is that there are a couple of very basic procedures for coming up with ideas. The first one of course is to examine the issue. So whatever the issue is um, there's lots of ways to examine it and brainstorming is a famous way um, and in, to some degree our framework that we've developed is dependent on brainstorming. But what brainstorming really means is that you just examine all aspects of the issue, whatever the issue is. So you break it down into little bits or you look at positives and negatives or you look at um, different aspects of it, uh, ranging from maybe from morals to finances to whatever. Some of the things that we recommend is you, you, is you get a whole lot of different people's points of view and you really um, work with people from different points of view, uh, different age groups, different ethnic groups, different genders, different socioeconomic groups, uh, etc. Educated people, um, uneducated people, but experienced people, whatever. Um, so that there's there's all those aspects to it. One of the important things that we come up with is the importance of before you try and come up with a solution to the problem, you examine what the issues are in the problem. The other thing is to deconstruct the issue or the problem into little bits. To try and come up with a solution for a large, complex, many bits and pieces in it uh, problem it's very difficult to come up with a solution that solves all the bits and pieces to it. It's like juggling 15 eggs. I think the world record for juggling eggs is 14. So if you try and juggle 15, there are 15 aspects to something or 15 bits of complexity, it's impossible to come up with a solution. But if you take them all to pieces, find solutions for each one or possible solutions or a range of possible solutions for each one, again, that's important. Try and find as many things as possible and then begin to put those back together again. Not only do you f get a solution to your problem, but you get an unexpected solution. You get, by recombining things that you've searched out through coming up with lots of, pro lots of possibilities um, and a range of things at, at that level, um, and then you put them back together again, you get unexpected combinations. And so you get two things happen, you're able to sol solve a large complex problem and you're able to get an unexpected solution to that, something that you or nobody else would have thought of before. Okay. Another aspect of this is assessment and we were alerted to the probable possibilities of assessment through a number of seminars that we've given around this university and other places where people say, well that's all very well but how do you assess it? And our alarm bells were rung when one of the people we were working with at this university put out a, a course outline that said, I will judge the creativity of your outcomes. And we went, whoa. Not only was she not qualified to judge that, we wouldn't even dream of judging the, that. So we began to look at a possible way that people who are not confident in judging this, the uh, creativity of something would be able to work and of course one of the things that we came up with was not to try and judge it at all being a creative solution but to look at ways where we would be able to evaluate what was going on and as we've said creativity is changing for something that's inborn to something that people can learn and we can be taught processes so we thought well what we'll do is People can judge whether people have come up with a lot of ideas. People can judge whether those ideas are diverse. People can judge uh, a whole range of things. The importance of self-assessment was one of the things that came into it. Can students themselves judge and respond to whether they've come up with a lot of ideas, whether those ideas are diverse, etc., etc. So we, we thought that, uh, that self-assessment, uh, even if ultimately they have to be graded, uh, was a good starting point for people. So judging the process 
and the uh, rather than the outcomes was a way that assessors could be confident of and students could be confident in assessing themselves. So uh, a lot of what we do by by definition is an attempt to demystify the creative that what creativity is and what creative processes are. And like the way that we teach design, we start by doing this very simply and enable people to get confidence in their ability to do it and slowly build more complexity into it. So I'm, I'm, I'll hand you back to Ron to talk about the trials to date mm -hmm. and the ways we, we, I've just talked about the strategies for building confidence. So we'll talk about some of the trials that we've done. Does anybody have any questions at this stage? Just do you want to just see the last question? Okay. Uh, all right, we all, everyone there? Hello? Still here. Okay. Uh, no immediate question. All right, then, fine. I, I hope this is not sort of too overbearing. <laughs> um, as I said before, we, we, um, um, we are sort of confident that this is going to work because uh, to date, the sort of feedback that we've gained from students in, in um, the work that we've done um, I think uh, I think alludes us to this. Um, what students say, I mean, I, I, I might just run through just just a summary of, of some of the feedback that we have got to date. Um, they they mention that it, it's an opportunity to pursue their own learning, and and I think this is very very important as we as we move. And I think that our framework is certainly moving students from a teacher centred to a more student centred approach in terms of their experiences. Um, they they mentioned that the methodologies are transferable to other topics and other disciplines and and in general to a way of thinking which I think is quite significant. Um, we get comments that they say this is completely different to anything else.